Let's evaluate the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left of 10x minus secant x. So when I'm evaluating limits, the first thing I want to do is to immediately just plug in what x is approaching and see what I get. So when I plug in my pi over 2 over here, I get that 10x goes to infinity because 10 of pi over 2 is undefined. And then if I plug in pi over 2 for secant x, first I know that secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So if I plug in, let me write that out, 1 over cosine x. And if I plug in pi over 2 for cosine, I'd get that this goes to 1 over 0, and we know that 1 over 0 is equal to infinity. So the form I have of my current untouched limit is equal to infinity minus infinity, which as we know is an indeterminate form. And we don't like that, and we want to get rid of it. And the way to get rid of it is using L'Hopital's rule. However, there's an extra step we need to take first, which is to condense this into a fraction. And in our case, this is pretty easy because this is just two trig functions and we could rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines. So tan x is, is equal to sine x over cosine x, while secant x is equal to one over cosine x. And I could immediately see that I have a common denominator between the two. So I could just immediately condense this into one fraction. So rewriting my limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left is sine x minus 1 over cosine x. Now I'm going to plug in my pi over 2 again just to confirm that I have it in an indeterminate form. So plugging in pi over 2 for my limit, I get that sine of pi over 2 is 1 minus 1 over zero, because plugging in pi over two for cosine is equal to zero. And so I have my limit in the form of zero over zero, which is an indeterminate form, which means that I can apply L'Hopital's rule. And what L'Hopital's rule tells me I should do when I have this indeterminate form is I take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So that my limit now looks like this. So LH, my I just wrote this to show that I'm applying L'Hopital's rule in this step. So the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left is equal to the derivative of my numerator sine x minus 1 is just cosine x because my minus 1 is a constant and therefore goes to 0. And then my denominator taking the derivative of cosine x gives me negative sine x. And now I'm going to evaluate my limit one more time and see what I get. So if I plug in pi over 2 for cosine x, I get that it's equal to 0. And then for my denominator, if I plug in pi over 2, I get that it's negative 1. And this isn't an indeterminate form anymore. This is my answer. So I know that my limit goes to 0. And that's it.